Bill was closing off eight years of his uh, very, uh, very popular governorship running for the uh, um, U.S. Senate and got mixed up in the Vietnam War. Uh, the chapter I, in the book that I talk about this, I say, Mark goes rogue. <laughs> Hatfield at that time was a very popular Republican on a national level. Uh, he was considered a moderate, but he could speak to both wings of the party, and he didn't take a lot of chances. Suddenly, he became the first governor in uh, all 50 states to oppose Lyndon Johnson's policies in the, uh, in the Vietnam War. This then brought Senator Wayne Morse into the fray. Excuse me. Morse had already made his name as the uh, major opponent of Johnson at the time of the Tonkin Gulf Resolution. The two of them made a very, very unlikely combination to say the least a Democrat and a Republican, but so different in so many ways. And suddenly Oregon was in the national news again, this time because of Vietnam. And then to add to the fund, in 1970, the Vietnam War figured again in Oregon when uh, the American Legion decided to hold its national convention in Portland, invited President Nixon, who else, and a lot of people who didn't like the Legion or 